Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. My name is Raya Al Saleh. And before your, sorry, and before your mind starts wandering too far, let me just get one thing straight. I did not go to space, but I did experience something that you can say took me to another world. I'd like to tell you a bit about myself. I'm what you call an absolute geek, as in I'm in love with the sci-fi genre. To show you the extent of my obsession, here are some of my favorite movies, books, TV shows, video games, and even iPhone apps. Can anyone guess what they all have in common? I know it's a difficult question, so let me just tell you. Outer space. Doesn't it just amaze you how many undiscovered things there are out there? All the planets, all the galaxies, all the solar systems, maybe even the possibility of aliens. Okay, maybe I'm getting a bit too carried away, so let me get back on track. My whole magical experience started, believe it or not, with an email notification. I don't know about you, but usually when I get an email from school, I automatically ignore it. But something about this one caught my attention. The subject read, NASA Space Academy. I was intrigued. Were we finally going to study the secrets of the universe? I opened the email and my excitement skyrocketed. I had been nominated to go on a trip to visit the NASA Space Academy. I quickly scanned through the email and slowly my excitement started deflating. The trip was for a week in Singapore. I dragged my hopes and dreams and emptied them out into the trash. The next few days had me in a state of depression. My mind kept on wandering back onto all the possibilities, all the experiences I'd get from going on to this trip, but the same barriers kept blocking my trail of thoughts. You probably have these upcoming phrases memorized. Shilli al fukra min balich. Ma'anna banati safroon. Aib. But this wasn't just anything. This was something I loved. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So I knew if I was going to approach this, I had to try out a new way. I started brainstorming. I came up with a list of all the pros and cons. I gathered information. I worked harder than I ever had on any school report or project. For two long weeks, I slowly introduced the idea to my family. I listened to what they had to say, and I tried to incorporate a way to work out what they wanted into my main goal. And finally, I got their approval. I was going to Singapore with my sister. Of course, I faced many hardships and obstacles while I was there, but nothing that I couldn't handle. I took that first step, the hardest step, and from there on out, it only got easier. At first, I felt homesick. I was lost, I was scared, I didn't know anyone there, and I was too, sh too shy to socialize with the rest of the students at the academy. But then, as the courses started, I never felt more at home. Now, if I started talking about every single, th every single thing I did in that one week, I'd keep on talking for hours. And I wouldn't mind doing that, but my time here is limited. So let me give you a brief summary. We had a paintballing activity where we all warmed up to each other. We tried flying a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle, and tried driving a Martian rover, a prototype of the Martian rover, since the actual one had a four hour delay. That means sending the rover into space, sending a message to the rovers to sp in space, waiting four hours for it to move without even knowing its surroundings. We tried building our own water-powered rocket, which flew up to 75 feet. 75 feet, do you, 75 meters. Do you know how high that is? That's like three times this building. We also had a debate with the students from Singapore about the ownership of space. And we saw how our opinions were very different from theirs. We then had an experiment. We transferred sound through laser through laser beams, and we also had a rescue mission where we had to save our teammates from freezing temperatures. And finally, we attended a physics course in one of the best schools in Singapore, and we saw how our educational environment differed from theirs. 
The last few days of, these, uh, of this trip was a blur. There was so much going on, I, couldn't even I didn't even check in with my mom. I know that might not seem like such a big thing to all of you, but my parents are what you call overprotective. So it's kind of a big thing. I learned many things on that trip. In addition to having fun, my education on science, space, astronomy, on physics grew tremendously. I opened up to new people on a different level, a level that you can't achieve without going on a trip with, with them. And I learned how to independently handle situations. And finally, I opened up, I was introduced to new cultures, new lifestyles, which gave me a different view of the world. I graduated from the academy. No, I graduated from the NASA Space Academy. And to think that I would have missed out on that, on all of that, if I didn't take that first step, the step that not only opened up endless opportunities for me, but also for other relatives, for other friends, for other young Emirati girls to take their first steps. As Neil Armstrong said, Neil Armstrong, the first man to step foot on the moon, said, one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Ashkakum istima'ikum and ismi Saleh.